Replo Product Page Builder Shopify Tutorial. Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a product page on Shopify using Replo. The first thing you want to do once on your Shopify admin page, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and tap on apps. And by the way, if you don't have a Shopify account as yet, I'll be leaving a link in the description that you can use to access a Shopify free trial. After selecting apps, you're going to tap on all recommended apps and you're going to select Shopify App Store. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page and you're going to tap on the search bar and you're going to type in Replo. Then you'll select Replo Landing Page Builder. Once you have done that, you can scroll down and you can install it for free. So you'll tap on install, then you'll tap on install once more. After doing that, you'll be redirected to the app dashboard. Once on the Replo dashboard, what I want you to do next, you can see right here, create a new workspace or you can choose one. I'm just going to choose one. So let's say for example, this one. And then we'll tap on connect workspace. Or I'm going to create a new workspace better yet. So I'll tap on create new workspace and I'm going to call it test then tap on create workspace once it has been integrated as you can see right there you are going to tap on projects in the top left hand corner after doing that you're going to tap on new replo project in the top right hand corner then you're going to tap on connect shopify store you can give the project a name so for example i'll call it first after doing that you can select the workspace so we're going to select the workspace that we have created then you're going to tap on create project after selecting create project you can see you have a few options that you can choose from you can either choose to create from blank or you can choose to browse templates or you can use the replo ai so i'm going to start with a form template so i'll select template then we're going to go over to the left hand menu option and we're going to select product page templates but if it is a case that you wanted to create a landing page, a listicle or blog, you could do that. And you can see different templates that you can choose from by scrolling down. Let's say for example sake, we were to select this one. After selecting the template, you will tap on create new page. After selecting create new page, from here you can give the page a name. So I'll just call it test product. So I'll type that in real quick and you can see the URL and you're going to tap on create page. After tapping on create page, it will automatically load it up and then you can start editing the page to your liking. From here, for example, if you wanted to change the image, you could tap on the image. Then you can right click and you can see the option to change image. So you could tap on that and you could upload image. So we are going to choose our Shopify store real quick. And we're going to tap on add Shopify integration. After you have done that, you'll be prompt to enter your store password. So to find your store password, you'll need to go back into Shopify. Go over to the left hand column and you're going to tap on online store. After selecting online store, you're going to tap on preferences. Then after selecting preferences, you'll scroll down and you're going to select password. You're going to copy it, then go back into Replo. And we're going to paste it right there and tap on submit password after selecting submit password it will automatically load up once more and again simply tap on the current image right click then you can tap on change image and from there you can choose any one of the product images that you would like to use so let's say for example this one tap on insert image and you can see it right there and you can do the same to edit the text you can tap on the text then from there you could change the text if you want you could tap on rename or you could go over to the right hand column and you can continue editing this is definitely not the easiest page builder to edit as it is a bit tedious but you can play around it and little by little you learn how to do it right, so you can change images you can paste in from figma and you can edit all of it so you can tap on each section and you'll see different editing options on the right hand column and also to add different elements you could tap on the plus that says insert 
and from there if you would like to for example change the layout you can do that you could insert columns you can also insert products or buttons for example buy now and you can also insert different ratings or so on. Once you're finished, you'll see the preview loading up right there. And you could tap on view preview in browser. And you can see how it would look. So this is how it looks at the moment. Now, if you would like to add it to your store, unfortunately, if you tap on publish page, you will need to go onto one of their paid plans to publish it. As they don't publish on free plans, so you'll need to go onto their paid plan. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button.